In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the Linear Foot Takeoff Tool. Specifically today, we're going to do a framing and plates example, but you can really use this tool for all kinds of measurements, from skirting to gutters or fascia, and literally anything else that you want to measure in linear feet. So quick note, this video is really more about the measuring and how the tool works than it is about calculating the number of studs and things like that. We do have a recipe video that goes through the framing detail in more example, but again, this is more about the actual measuring side of it. So to start, we're going to open the category and we're going to grab this one here. We're going to hit the takeoff button. And the first thing that you notice is the tools. You've got all the different shapes and pretty much the same ones as what we've seen uh, during the square foot video. And once you go and you use them, the only real difference is that if I grab the rectangle, for example, you'll notice it's hollow inside. So it's calculating linear feet and specifically, obviously, only the param perimeter. And that's really true of any of these shapes. So, for example, I'm going to go to do the framing and I'm going to use the polygon tool. And as I used it during the square feet, you just have to come back to the same point, finishing where you started. So here I'm going to go around the outside, uh, making sure we click on the point to point to point. And as always with this tool, you can hit the escape button if you mistake, and that will allow you to unclick it, and then you can go back and do the correct areas. But again, making sure that we go back to where we started. Next, I think I'm going to switch tools. This line tool uh, specifically is what I'm going to use, and I'm going to do the internal measurements. As mentioned in another video, you can turn labels off if you need to, which I'm going to do here and I'm just going to work out where the walls are going. So for now, I'm going to go over doors and things like that. And to make it really easy, a nice trick is that essentially you can just double click your mouse to get those single lines to keep going where I need them. So double click to keep going and then just a single click to stop. So all of that comes together to this and a quick note while I'm in linear feet is that we still have the pitch tool. So I can do linear lines for things like uh, ridge roof shingles or even if you're on a really steep slope and you need to work uh, things like drainage, for example, drainage pipes and linear feet, you can use this. Um, but it's just a quick note while we're here. So that's linear feet and I'm going to click accept and save. Mm -hmm. 